Hi guys, in today's tutorial I'd like to show you how you can build a silent, so a pistonless hopper timer. This tutorial will be fairly short, so if we get a lot of feedback through the comments and likes for this video, I will sit down later today and record a second tutorial for you to watch. But now let's take a look at this. So what I've got here are different designs for timers. And this one is the most popular design out there. It's two hoppers facing into each other with comparators powering these pistons. But uh, the only problem with this is that this is fairly loud if you're close to that. And if you want to have a timer in your base, in your room, then you don't want the noise always to happen around you. So what I uh, then came up with right in the beginning of 1.5 was this design here, which is fairly big, but uh, it's a timer. But um, I also got this design at that time, which is a uh, pulse extender. If I press this button here, this lamp will turn on, in this case for 8 seconds, because there are 10 items inside. And this is based on a flip-flop that is formed out of the hopper and the comparator with the redstone torch then uh, blocking the signal from the side here and you can activate it over and over again. So I thought we could use this concept here with the flip-flop for a timer too to make it more compact and uh, a silent hopper timer. And that is what you can see over here. It looks fairly big now. But that's because I raised it off the ground and put two outputs to it. So what this does is that it uh, reactivates such a timer or a pulse extender over and over again. And what really cool is about this besides being silent that you've got two different output types here. This one is like the normal one from um, over there that you have over there. It's a output that is half the time on and half the time off. But here you've also got a second output that is always just blinking for I think two ticks uh, when the um, timer is over. So you can see it blinking and most of the times you just need a short pulse as an input for whatever you're triggering with your timer. So that is quite useful. Now that I've shown you this design um, over here, I want to build it up real quick so you can easily rebuild it. Therefore I will not raise it off the ground, I will just put it on the floor here like you would normally do it. So you start off with two hoppers facing into each other and uh, then you grab yourself a comparator, put it over here and this signal we want to bring down so we place a redstone dust over here and then a repeater over there it will get uh, triggered through the block. If we just plug a, put a block on top then on the side here we place a block and then two redstone dust and a redstone torch. If we now fill in some items, let's do 10 again because that is 8 seconds once more. Uh, we can activate this through a button and this will already be the pulse extender that we've got over there that will be, uh, be lit for exactly 10 seconds. And now to make a timer out of it we just place a block over here, then a comparator into a block and a redstone torch because this redstone torch will um, turn off and uh, will turn on when the timer has finished. So after 10, 8 seconds right now and we can just grab this output and put it into here as the input and now it is already a timer. So it's a little bit bigger than the hopper timer but therefore it's silent and you can grab your output either from this redstone here, the torch, or if you want to have the short output then from this redstone torch over here or to this side or if you want to have an output that is always on and turns off for just two ticks, then you just put a repeater over here. That's it already for today's tutorial. As I said, fairly short. So if you want to have a second tutorial, leave me some feedback about this. And if you enjoyed it, then also feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends. But that is it from me. I hope you have a great day and until next time.